Hello, boys and girls. My name is Camille Searchwell Davis. Welcome to another mathematics lesson where we will be looking at paths. At the end of our session today, you will be able to identify straight and curved paths and associate them with longer and shorter paths. Let's begin. Do you know what a path is? Excellent. A path is a direction of travel or movement. A path is either straight or curved. We see many paths in our communities. We travel on a path from our homes to the shop or to school. Can you think of other places that you traveled on paths? Good job. If we walk in only one direction, we are walking on a straight path. This blue line represents a straight path. And if we walk in different directions, we are walking on a curved path. This red line represents a curved path. Now let us identify the straight path from the dog to her pup. Do you remember what a straight path is? Well done. The straight path is the one that goes in only one direction. So, which of these two paths only go in one direction? Did you choose the red path? You are correct. The red path is a straight path. Can you identify the curved path from the cat to her kitten? Do you remember what the curved path is? Great! The curved path is walking in different directions. So, which of these two paths has different directions? Well done, boys and girls. The yellow path is a curved path. Let us look at straight and curved paths on a map of a community. Can you identify the different places shown in this community? Good job. We have the school. We have Jan's house. We have the playground, the church, and the mall. Do you see these places in your community or nearby? Okay, boys and girls. Would we take a straight or curved path from the school to Jan's house? Did you say a curved path? You are correct. We would take a curved path from the school to Jan's house. What path would we take from Jan's house to the playground? Excellent! We would take a straight path from Jan's house to the playground. Now, how about the path from the church to the mall? Is it straight or curved? Good thinking, boys and girls. It is a curved path. Now, how many straight and curved paths do you see on the map? Let us count the straight paths. One, two, three, four. Well done. We have four straight paths. 
Now let us count the curved paths. One, two, three. We have three curved paths. So, are there more straight or curved paths in this community? Did you say there are more straight paths than curved paths? You are correct. We have four straight paths and three curved paths. So, we have more straight paths than curved paths. Good thinking, boys and girls. Let us look at this activity. Molly has to move the ladybug from point A to her home, which we will call point B. What are the different paths that Molly can take to reach point B from point A? Good thinking, boys and girls. Molly can take several paths. Let us look at some of them. She can take this blue path. She can also take this red path. Molly can take this yellow path. And she can also take this blue path. Now, we can see that if Molly travels on the green, the red, and the yellow paths, she will change direction along the way. What is the name of those three paths? The green, the red, and the yellow path. Did you say curved path? You are correct, boys and girls. They are curved paths. For the blue path, Molly would move in only one direction. What is the name of that path? Did you say Molly could also travel on a straight path? Good job, boys and girls. Good thinking. The blue path is a straight path. Remember now, boys and girls, if a point moves in only one direction, we get a straight path. And if the point keeps changing directions, we get a curved path. Now, let us look at these paths. Are they straight or curved? Let us group them. Now let us look at longer and shorter paths. Look at the different paths that Molly can use to take her ladybug home. Molly can use the curved path and she can use the straight path. Which of these paths do you think is shorter? Both paths will start where Molly is and end at the ladybug's home. Good thinking, boys and girls. The straight path is shorter. In this picture, we can see that the start point is the school and the end point is the church. How many paths do you see? Well done. There are two paths a straight path, and a curved path. Let us use points to check to see which point is shorter. We are going to count the points from the start point to the end point on each path. Let's go. On the straight path, one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we have twelve points on the straight path. Now let us count the points on the curved path. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20. There are 20 points on the curved path. Which path do you think is longer? The one with more or less points? Very good thinking, boys and girls. The path with more points is longer. So the curved path is longer than the straight path because the curved path has 20 points and the straight path only has 12 points. When we have different paths with the same start point and the same end point, the straight path is always shorter. Now let us look at the paths from Jan's house to the playground. Jan's house is the start point and the playground is the end point. How many paths do you see? Did you say two paths? Well done. There are two paths, A and B. How would you describe path A and path B. You are doing well. Path A is straight and path B is curved. Do you know which path is longer? Did you say path B is longer? Correct. When the start and end points are the same, the curved path is always longer. Before we go, let us recap what we did today. We looked at straight and curved paths. We learned that when the point moves in one direction, it forms a straight path. And when it changes direction, it forms a curved path. Did we learn anything else today, boys and girls? Oh, yes! We learned that when different paths have the same start and end point, the straight path is always shorter. So, if the straight path is always shorter, what can we say about the curved path? Good thinking, boys and girls. We can say that when the start and end points are the same, the curved path is always longer than the straight path. So, for our final activity today, you are going to draw a map of your own own community. I would like you to draw at least two straight paths and two curved paths. Now do not forget boys and girls, you have to write the names of your paths in your drawing. Thank you so much boys and girls. You did a great job today. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.